The great tit is one of the most vocal of our garden birds and has a vast vocabulary of over 70 songs and calls. So to make it easier to identify the great tit, I find it helpful to try and memorise the overall sound and character of its voice, just as you do with an actor or singer's voice. The words and lyrics may be new to you, but you can still identify the person by the characteristics of their voice. As every song or call is a communication with a meaning, I would like to try and record as many as possible. But for now, I will concentrate on the more familiar sounds that you are likely to hear. The most commonly heard song sequence consists of continually repeated phrases with intervals of silence. Each phrase contains five or six syllables, and each of these is made up of two elements. In this case, a louder higher note, followed by a quieter lower note. This is clearly shown in the spectrograph below. I personally find this very helpful in memorising a visual picture of the song. This second song is just a variation of the first one. The notes are reversed, and the first becomes a louder lower note, and the second is a higher quieter note. This song is a more relaxed version of the repetitive two note song. The spaces between the three syllable phrases are longer and the phrases themselves are delivered much more slowly and deliberately. This churning sound is a sign of agitation, maybe due to some form of disturbance, and it can sometimes be used as a warning call. The true alarm call used for aerial predators is a short high-pitched note. This is also universally recognised by many other birds. One trick that the great tit has learned is what's known as resource usurpation. If a food source is being hogged by the birds, the great tit will use its alarm call to scare off these birds so it can have the food to itself. Just a few short samples of its songs and calls to listen out for. It's the beginning of June and another successful breeding season is coming towards its end and the woods are filled with the sound of fledglings calling to be fed by the parents. It's only a matter of days now and they'll start to become independent and be able to feed for themselves.